What we're reporting in Nature Reviews Cancer is, I hope, a resolution to a hundred year controversy on what causes childhood leukemia. What we think is the major cause is patterns of infection that are characteristic of developed societies. And paradoxically, we think the problem is not infection, but a lack of infection early in life. Development of leukemia occurs in two discrete steps. The first one occurs when the babies are in the womb, developing fetuses. And there's a mutation there that we think is probably a developmental accident. There's nothing to suggest anything in the outside world is causing that. And it turns out to be much more common than the disease. Only a very small percent of them, about 1%, will go on to get the second mutational step sometime after birth that we believe is triggered by infection. Childhood leukemia is an extraordinary story medically because it's an intrinsically lethal cancer in the absence of treatment. The cure rate for this cancer is now around 90%. But the problem is it's traumatic, it's toxic, with long-term consequences for the health of those children. And obviously very difficult for the children themselves, and plus trauma for the families. So I think if you ask any parent what would you prefer, they'd opt for prevention, and that's my view as well. The immune system has evolved to fight infections. Natural infections um, in the first weeks and months of life prime the immune system. In the absence of that priming early in life by natural infections, later immune responses are abnormally regulated, which raises the question, what could parents do if they're worried about risk of leukemia? The risk is relatively low, it's one in 2,000 but there are ways in which risk could probably be reduced. So not to be overzealous about hygiene and over-worried about it. Encouraging children to mix with other children, particularly older children, would be good. And protracted breastfeeding for three or six months is beneficial, as it is for many other things in child health. What all this research points to for me very powerfully is that childhood acute lymphomastic leukemia is probably a preventable disease. So the challenge is how could you possibly do that. We think the way to do this is to give to infants in the first year of life some form of microbial exposure that's benign and safe. I'm reasonably optimistic in perhaps a five to ten year time frame we'll see this translated into some real benefit.